So, hi everyone. I'm today with Paul and Paul McGuire. Who are you? Where are you from? How, where did you grow up? What's your story? Well, I'm Paul McGuire. I grew up uh, the youngest of eight children in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area in California. And um, my story is that um, I got hooked on reading really young by my godmother, who was a librarian. And um, in doing so, I uh, discovered that I could change my life uh, by reading. And um, that was long before the internet. And so at that time, books were where you got your information, you learned things. And, um, and learning through books just led me to a lifelong adventure that led me to um, learning about personal development, learning about mindset, learning about success. Uh, I read Zig Ziglar's book, See at the Top, when I was 19, which was the book that said, it gives you a checkup from the neck up to eliminate stinking thinking and avoid hardening of the attitudes, the world's most deadly disease. And um, I read that book in three days, and he said he never met anybody who was a millionaire who didn't listen to audio cassette tapes. And I wanted to be a millionaire, so, this girl, Julie, that I knew had these audio cassette tapes from Tom Hopkins called um, The Personal Success Guide to Success and Official Guide to Success. And I listened to that one tape over and over and over. And, and that got me to start listening to tapes. And one thing led to another. And I read this book about being a chiropractor. And I was all excited. And I went and met a chiropractor. I ended up going to chiropractic college and practicing and having many different... Um, you know, practices and patients. And I also went to a seminar with Robert Allen who talked about real estate. I listened to all his tapes, started buying real estate, ended up buying millions and millions of dollars in real estate, became an expert in real estate, taught seminars in real estate, and basically retired at 39, all because um, I read, I learned. And I guess the biggest message I would tell anyone is that you can determine your own destiny by learning. Because today, with the internet, there's so much education available and so many different topics. That's your starting point to begin to change your life and give yourself opportunities that maybe you never would have had had it not been for the internet and the availability of that information. So you've traveled the world and you've started businesses in different countries. So tell me some more about that. Well, um, I had a business in Malaysia where I... Um, did a like a coupon like business where I would go to spas and doctors offices and such and they would offer a discount we would send those through the mail um, I worked with another company out of Canada basically selling their weight loss stuff this fat laser that they sold called YOLO medical and um, and I also had many businesses in the Bay Area you know I had a practice in um, all around the Bay Area I had practices and then I had one in Hawaii and one in Nevada and what I learned from having all these offices was that in these different businesses was that there is a certain things that you need in every business you need marketing you need selling you need marketing that that connects with people to give them what they need and want and so that means you have to write a message or write a headline or something in your advertising, whether it's online or offline, where people relate to it and they can come in. So I guess if I was, you know, selling something like, um, you know, pain in the feet, which we call neuropathy, which is foot pain, I would have an ad that says, you know, do you have neuropathy to start getting people who have neuropathy to start talking to me to help them. So anybody who's in any business, no matter what they do, um, the message of the headline just needs to match. And by doing all these different businesses, it's one of the most important things I ever learned. What's your gift to the world? What do you like to give to everyone? Hmm. My gift to the world would be to know in your heart of hearts that no matter what, no matter where you came from, no matter what your circumstances, no matter how much pain you've been through, no matter how much you've lost or hurt or had things not work out, that there's hope. And that hope is in learning. 
that hope is in educating yourself and understanding that you can be anything you want, you can do anything you want, and you can have anything you want by getting the right mentors, which for me, for me a lot of times besides my parents was books, people I've never met, but who shared in those books their message, and their message resonated with me and touched my heart, and that allowed me to go out and help people. So I, whoever's watching this video, know that wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing, whatever your circumstances, that there are opportunities for you. And by learning and engaging with other people and being around people who are successful, you will stimulate your mind, which is the greatest gift you have is your mind. Always take care of it. Don't drink, don't do drugs. Uh, it is your money maker. It is your thing that's gonna save you. Is to always learn and take care of yourself. And the last thing I would say is always enhance yourself spiritually because from the spirit comes the energy and the oomph, if you will, the, the, mag the magic that gives you the ability to demonstrate in the world your skill or what you personally have that's special to the world. And there's nobody like you who's ever listening. There's only one you. What are your five books you would highly recommend to everyone? My five books that I highly recommend to anyone would probably start with um, The Official Guide to Success by Tom Hopkins. One of the best books I've ever read. See You at the Top by Zig Ziglar. Um, I read a book um, that really helped me a lot. It was called A Walk Across America. It was about a man who adventured across America and met all these different people and the experiences he had. And um, I really love, um, you know, Joel Bauer and his books where you learn about how to sell and market yourself, like gravitational marketing. And um, the last book is I would recommend my book, which is, you know, The Million Dollar Practice Maker, which is for business or, or people in practice, whatever, doctors or lawyers or accountants, real estate people, how to make money in business. I'd probably say those five. And then one other thing I would add is in far, as far as online, things that are free, I would highly recommend you listen to Earl Nightingale. Um, you know, the, the things that Earl Nightingale has online are just unbelievable, you know. And of course, you know, other people as well. But I, I think Earl's got some of the best stuff there is. And uh, Earl's stuff is related to what? Earl's stuff is related to personal development, to attitude, to, um, he talks about the strangest secret, which is that you become what you think about, that thoughts are things, and that you have an opportunity in your life um, to manifest in your life, but that starts with controlling your thoughts and putting your attention and learning on those things which are going to serve you. If you don't take care of your mind and get rid of the weeds and the negativity and you only focus on, you know, letting whatever happens during the day enter your mind, you're not going to have very much success. But if you control your mind and you put in your mind the right type of food, which is positive, personal understanding, personal development, things that Earl talks about, you're going to do better in life. Because whatever you put in there is going to come out sooner or later. So the most important thing is to put in the right stuff. And how do you know what the right stuff is? You talk to people who are successful. They're going to tell you. So I've never met a, anybody who is super successful that hasn't read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill because Napoleon studied everybody who was wealthy at the time. So there's just certain books that are just fundamental to being successful. And, you know, and there's certain things you have to do. And those things are learning, setting goals, developing yourself spiritually, and having good ethics, being a good person. What are the 10 people you would recommend everybody to follow on Facebook? Uh, number one would be Joel Bauer. I think Joel really comes down to someone that really understands marketing. I think another one is Dan Kennedy. Um, Dan can really show you how to make money and create money. Joel will show you how to monetize and, and do things. Um, I think it's important you follow people like Brian Tracy. Some people are not emotional, they're more intellectual, and Brian Tracy just breaks it down to, um, you know, 
the science of and the studies that show that when you take certain actions, you get certain results, and it's been shown over and over. Um, I've, I, I think that it's important to, um, you know, I like people like Tony Robbins, who tends to be motivational. Um, follow me if you like. I post things that can help you. Follow you, of course. Um, you know, I, those are probably the biggest, I mean, those are probably the top five, you know, those people. Um, people that, you know, you could follow, I would follow people that are, that are actually like getting results, right? That are like actually demonstrating that they're getting results in the world. If you just go to Joel Bauer, Dan Kennedy, he has a whole site there, Dan Kennedy students, um, you, me, uh, some of the other people we talked about, Earl Nightingale has a site on there. You'll see the friends that they have. Those are the people you want to be around and connect with because those are the people that are doing things and that have things happening. How do you grow yourself spiritually? Well, I think there's two, um, two sides to spirituality. One is your religious side that most people were raised with some religion and practicing your religion and um, spending your time with whatever religion you're in, spiritual leader, whoever that is, um, be it God, be it Allah, be it whoever that may be for you. But I also think there's a second part of spirituality and that is you yourself as a person and likeness of, and developing that side of you. And I think one of the most important things to do as a person is to try to eliminate from yourself and your life those things that don't serve you. Those things that are negative, those things that are really, you know in your mind you probably shouldn't be doing them. Uh, and keeping yourself clean, you know, as far as a person spiritually, doing the right thing by people and and also, you know, learning about spirituality. And I think, you know, things like meditation, things like reading spiritual books, all of those things help you to understand that in my view, we are all spiritual beings in a human experience. In my view, um, this is one of many lifetimes potentially. That's my view. Now some people think differently. And I think in each, each time you're in life, you should try to do the best you can to improve your life and to learn the most you can and to help yourself move forward to the next life. Your message to people of Pakistan. <clears throat> You know, I think my message to people in Pakistan is that like every place in the world, there is a opinion in the media about your country, your people, as there is about people in the United States. And those opinions are commonly just manufactured, right, by the media. You see it with politicians. You know, they make sometimes they're out to be some of the worst people ever, and then you meet them, they're actually pretty nice, right? So, I think in Pakistan, my message is to communicate with the world, to get out there and communicate with people in different countries, and to look to yourself as an entrepreneur that there's opportunities globally now with the internet where you can generate income and change the life of you for your family help your children, your children's children, send them to better better schools and have a better opportunity in your life. As it, my message would be to anybody in any country. You know what I mean? It's just try to improve yourself, improve your condition and do that through education and being good to other people and communicating with people and meeting with people and, and, uh, and discussing things, you know? Wonderful. Thank you so much, Paul, for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks. Everybody, do follow and add Paul McGuire and uh, inbox him with your questions related to this or do ask him on this video. Thank you.